Imagine a world where even the smallest infection could end your life. No antibiotics. No modern medicine. Just you. And the hope your body might somehow fend off the infection. Most people think antibiotics are a modern invention. But the truth, they've been around for centuries. 2,500 years ago, the Chinese were already experimenting with a moldy soybean curd to treat infections. So how did ancient civilizations manage to stumble upon these life-saving techniques? And more intriguingly, why did it take us so long to understand their real power? The Chinese weren't alone. Ancient civilizations, like the Sudanese Nubians, were using what we now recognize as antibiotics as early as 350 AD. The Nubians consumed grains that contained natural tetracycline, likely from soil bacteria present in their stored grains. But did they understand how these methods worked? Probably not. They might have seen these treatments as mystical or magical rather than scientific. Even in medieval Europe, healers turned to moldy bread and cheese curds to stave off infections. Imagine, people using molds to heal wounds long before modern medicine even recognized their potential. Our journey through the history of antibiotics takes a turn in 1877. Enter Louis Pasteur, the renowned French scientist who made groundbreaking discoveries about bacteria. Pasteur and his associates stumbled upon something fascinating. They found that certain bacteria could actually inhibit the growth of harmful bacteria. Imagine the amazement. Pasteur's findings laid the foundation for understanding the microbial world. He demonstrated that benign bacteria could inhibit dangerous bacteria like anthrax. It was the spark that began the hunt for effective treatments derived from microorganisms. Let's pause for a moment. Imagine if Louis Pasteur hadn't looked into bacteria's behaviors. How many lives would have been lost, and how much longer would humanity have waited before discovering the power of antibiotics? In 1928, the field of antibiotics took a monumental leap forward. Alexander Fleming, a British bacteriologist, was working in his lab when he noticed something peculiar. On an agar plate, he saw a strain of green mold, penicillium, not just growing, but actively preventing bacterial growth around it. He had just witnessed the raw power of what would become the first modern antibiotic, penicillin. But Fleming's discovery was just the beginning. Penicillin was promising but unreliable in its early stages. It wouldn't be until the 1940s when Howard Florey and his team managed to find a potent strain of penicillium that mass production became possible. This breakthrough was monumental, especially as World War II raged on, and penicillin became a life-saving tool on the battlefield. Penicillin wasn't just a medical marvel, it was a world changer. Imagine the impact on soldiers fighting infections on the front lines of World War II. Penicillin saved thousands, if not millions, marking the dawn of the antibiotic era. With the success of penicillin, Scientists knew they were onto something big. They began exploring soil bacteria, like streptomyces, which soon led to the discovery of streptomycin in 1944. This particular antibiotic was especially important because it was effective against tuberculosis, a disease that had plagued humanity for centuries. Selman Waxman, the scientist behind this discovery, coined the term antibiotic. The floodgates opened. Over the following years, more antibiotics emerge. Acetracin, polymyxin, neomycin, chloramphenicol, all derived from different microorganisms. Here's something fascinating. These antibiotics aren't just weapons for us. They're tools that bacteria use to battle each other in nature. Bacteria have been waging microscopic wars for billions of years, long before we arrived on the scene. By the 1970s, scientists had made an astounding realization. They could create modified, synthetic versions of these naturally occurring antibiotics. This approach allowed them to design antibiotics that were more effective, more targeted, and less prone to resistance. This marked the beginning of a new era in the battle against infectious diseases. But here's a question that's on every scientist's mind. 
Can we stay ahead of bacteria as they evolve? Bacteria have a way of adapting to our antibiotics, a phenomenon known as resistance. And if we can't keep up, we might be staring at a post-antibiotic future. Today, antibiotic resistance is one of the biggest health challenges we face. The overuse and misuse of antibiotics have led to the rise of superbugs, strains of bacteria resistant to most known antibiotics. Imagine a world where routine infections become untreatable. This is the reality scientists are racing to prevent. Research is ongoing, with scientists working on everything from new synthetic antibiotics to bacteriophage therapy, where viruses that infect bacteria are used as treatment. As we look to the future, the story of antibiotics reminds us of humanity's ingenuity and the challenges we still face. Antibiotics revolutionized medicine, saved countless lives, and became one of the most powerful tools in our arsenal. But their future is uncertain. It's up to us to use them wisely, to innovate new solutions, and to ensure that this remarkable chapter in medical history doesn't come to a premature end. If you found this journey through the history of antibiotics as fascinating as we did, give us a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and consider subscribing for more explorations into the science that shapes our world. Together, we'll continue uncovering the remarkable stories behind the medicine we often take for granted.